Welcome back to my YouTube channel Rebel Free. In today's video, I'm going to explain you about the learning set of rules in the subject of machine learning. Uh, so before watching this video, uh, let me tell you something. If you're having your exam schedule nearby, just let me know the date of your exam and also your uh, college name in the comment section so that I'll make your uh, make videos by then and also according to your college syllabus. And for um, any, if you're having any doubts after listening to the entire video, just let ask me in the comment section. I'll definitely try to reply for each and every comment. Okay, so let's get into the video now. So when I, whenever you're learning set of rules, whenever you're learning something, you actually have two ways. Okay. So you're going to do it in two ways. What are those? The first way is learn a decision tree and translate the tree into rules. One rule for each loan. That is you have to first for a problem. You need to first define a decision tree. You need to first draw a decision tree. Okay. So first you have to draw a decision tree. And then what you have to do, you need to translate. You need to convert that decision tree into set of rules. Okay. This is the second step. Now, how do you convert a decision tree into rules for each and every leaf node? You need to define a rule. Okay. You know what leaf nodes are, right? Suppose this is a tree. Then the last level nodes, these the last level nodes, which have, which do not have further child are called as leaf nodes right so for these leaf nodes for each and every leaf node you need to define one rule so for this decision tree how many you rules you're gonna get you will you'll get four rules right and what is the second way in the second way is by using the genetic algorithm so you already know what genetic algorithm is i already made video about that so by using the genetic algorithm what genetic algorithm will do it will encode each rule each rule as a bit string so here what we are doing we are using decision tree here we are using ge uh, genetic algorithm in decision tree what we are doing for each and every rule we are for each and every leaf we are defining a rule here what we are doing for each and every rule we are expressing it we are defining a bit string and we are expressing a rule in terms of a bit string okay done so uh, while we are discussing about learning uh, set of rules we have two algorithms actually we are going to learn about two algorithms the first order rules and the sequential covering algorithm in this video i'm going to explain you about the sequential covering algorithm in the next video i'll be explaining you about the first order rules and the foil algorithm okay f o i l foil algorithm so for this video let's learn first about the sequential covering algorithm okay done so what do you mean by sequential covering algorithm is it's very simple it sequentially covers each and every rule that is if there are 10 rules present in the uh, um, you know you there are 10 rules that you have to learn and all those 10 rules are in the order from 1 to 10 then sequentially first one after one is done then two after two is done then three like that it will sequentially cover each and every rule okay so here uh, and one more thing is it will extract the rules from the data set directly the universal data set will be given to you right from which you have to learn from there it will take the data directly okay and this is mainly based on two uh, sorry you have two evaluation measures and from those two evaluation me measures it will take any one of them according to the algorithm's choice and it was it will mainly concentrate on that okay so what are those two factors number one is accuracy and number two is coverage accuracy is nothing but the confidence factor like how much confident you are so accuracy simply you can say it is a confident factor how much confident you are that is how much accurate your learning is how much accurate your rules are how much accurately how uh, correctly they will fit the target function or your target problem like that okay and second is coverage they should fill they should uh, cover most of the you know training examples like that okay so now let us see how this algorithm actually works the step by step procedure involved in this algorithm so first it creates an empty set of decision tree list this is called as a decision tree list it will create an em empty set of this empty decision tree list it looks like a stack or a queue whatever you want to take you can take okay and now what we do is we will be using a function which is called as learn one rule okay learn one rule this is a function which we are using it extracts the best rule for class y so let us take class y like class y in the sense some classification some category we can say so we are uh, grouping the things into category y let us take okay so in that you are using a function which is called as learn one rule and this function will extract the best rule among all the rules which you're having it will extract the best rule and how that is done i'll tell you so first when you're doing this if all the training records belong belongs to class y then you will categorize it as positive 
if the training records does not belong to class y you will categorize it as negative so you will be getting some records right so if that record belongs to class y that record will be categorized as positive and if it is not there in the class y it is categorized as negative so next what you have to do is you need to get all the desirable values so what do you mean by desirable values simply positive values all positive values you need to extract okay so once you collect all positive values what you have to do you need to eliminate the records now as i as i said desirable here and i'm saying eliminate here don't get confused i'll explain you that with an example uh, so that you can understand it more better and so once you eliminate the records eliminating the records in the sense you are eliminating the desirable ones right which is nothing but you are eliminating the positive ones you are eliminating the positive ones done now a new rule is added to the bottom of r so once you do that you will be adding the rule to the bottom of r then again you will be doing the same process and you will be adding another rule like you know r1 r2 R three like that you will be keeping on adding as you do that so don't don't get confused I'll explain you with an example so uh, for this we are going to take an example uh, let us take a data set with both uh, positive and negative values we are going to consider a data set and that data set is having both positive values as well as negative values done so now let us see the diagrammatic representation so that you can understand it more uh, so better yeah, this is the diagrammatic representation and uh, don't get uh, tensed by looking at all those boxes positives negatives and all so this is the original data set okay done so from the original data set first thing what you have to do is actually the the positive all all positives will not be grouped okay so um, ignore this red line and just assume how the figure looks like okay so then what you have to do is you need to uh, you know make a group or you need to make a bunch of all positive values so here you have 5 right and here you have 3 and here you have 2 right so now what you have to do is first you have to go to the maximum positive example so maximum number of positive examples where do we have we have it here right sorry for the bug uh, so here we have right so total how many we have five here three here two so which is the maximum five so first what you have to do you need to eliminate all these and you need to replace it with r1 okay so first which one did you get you got r1 right so r1 will be going into the list first okay done now after r1 the second maximum is what this one or this one this is the second maximum right so now in this bunch or in this group you will be replacing it with r2 okay so you will be replacing it with r2 and what is the second uh, record that has formed r2 right so r2 will go into the list done and now what is left over this one right the third one the there are no further so you're just classifying it you're just grouping it so these two will group uh, will be grouped together as a single record and you will be getting the r3 okay now you're going to close this now you're going to end this so this is how you do the sequential covering algorithm sequentially you cover each and everything step by step you do it okay so this is about the sequential covering algorithm in the next video i'll be explaining you about um, the first order learning and also about the foil algorithm uh, first order inductive learning and if you are having any doubts in this video ask me in the comment section i'll definitely try to reply it for sure and uh, yeah as i already said just let me know your exam date in the comment section so that i'll make videos by then and if you're still having any doubts apart from what i've explained just let me know in the comment section again and if you want me to make any other videos or any other topics just let me know that i'll definitely try to make it if i can and let's meet up in the next coming video with another topic